Hello, and welcome to an episode of Test Chamber. Today we're checking out Forza Horizon 3. I'm Brian Shea, that's Andrew Reiner on the sticks. Hello! Hey, look at that! Whoa! UPS delivery! And through the magic of video games, we are transported to Australia for the Horizon Festival, which is the in-game festival for the Forza series, or the Forza Horizon series. Um, so yeah, this game isn't quite out yet. Uh, we're getting an early look at it through a uh, review copy that we have here. But uh, it comes out next week for most people, but you were saying that there's a way that people can get this game early? Yeah, four days early, I believe. Uh, there's an Uber edition. I think it costs around $100 that um, will be uh, available in a couple days here. But Or you can wait till next Tuesday. Uh, if you don't want to pay the $100. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so we're about an hour and a half into the game, I'd say. Um, the intro is absolutely brilliant. That's me in the N7 car. If you couldn't, of uh, course, couldn't decipher that already. <laughs> um, but uh, we're just going to do some standard racing. Then we're going to take you into the menus and stuff like that. Show you off customization and all that. All right. So this is an open hey! world. <laughs> wow. He does not want your N7 on the side of that car. So this is an open world racing game. But now we're going into a like a. a mapped out event so Correct. this is like a, a kind of a linear course that they've drawn out for you and you know what it's it's like it's all about this festival you know kind of atmosphere but look what we're doing we're just destroying <laughs> australia i mean it is seriously like the fast and the furious like no respect whatsoever for this country just destroy it this as much gorgeous, as you can this gorgeous island nation <laughs> so I think that, like, yeah, like most festivals, they bring in a ton of revenue for the city, and but this you're just annihilating oh, yeah, the neighborhood. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> screw you, small town. <laughs> we have a race to win. <laughs> you didn't need that fence. Um, they totally yeah, I mean, everything. This. Just it's like there's roads here, people. <laughs> but it is all about kind of this extreme racing, these extreme racing conditions, and you're gonna see well. Hopefully we get to show you some of it. We might not be able to, but some of the the wilderness, kind of the uh, uncivilized areas of this of this uh, beautiful country here. So I grew up playing like the Gran Turismo games, and but I also love like the arcadey games like Burnout. Um, so this is kind of like not quite so arcadey as Burnout, but it's it's definitely more on the the casual side than Forza's mainline series. Yeah, it's not motorsport, but it is still kind of motorsport you know you you still have the guideline that you know telling you how, when to break what route to take uh you know the car you're still um doing a lot of tweaking with the cars you know enhancing their performance uh so it does have some of those big simulation aspects you know the big tent poles of those those games but the routes themselves yes you're not on you know actual tracks mm -hmm. uh most of the time you are uh you're going ballistic in these these countries and there's weird things too, like, you know, in the Horizon games in the past, you've taken on like airplanes. You know, <laughs> no, you're not driving an airplane, but or piloting an airplane. You are in your car taking on an airplane that's doing laps with you. Uh, this time so they have. Uh, I took on a jeep, which you think would be an easy race okay. to win, yeah. but the jeep was being hauled by a army cargo helicopter through the wilderness like knocking down trees and all that stuff um so that was really cool it was it was fun they did a slow motion moment where i was launching through the air i almost hit it um yeah it was awesome but the, totally again the fast beginning, and furious. yeah the beginning of this game is sweet uh it goes through all these new components and uh so here we're getting credits to buy cars or upgrades uh and then uh we will get some fans so i'm almost well just into level three, and then once you get enough fans, you can open up a new festival or expand the size of a festival. Oh. Um, so this one will be opening a new festival. We might be able to do that here if I complete one more race. Congratulations on the first place finish, by the way. I'm pretty great. <laughs> There's Arthur Geese down there from Polygon. He's played the game just a little more than uh, me. Uh. Oh, come on. So You're driving see. a custom N7 Lamborghini, and you just run right into guys. What can we do? So here's the map so far. Undiscovered route. Oh, the rainforest. Here is the festival grounds. Oh, we should do this. That's one of those off the chain weird things. Let's do it. I think. 
So how do you feel about like open world racing games? Because for me, it was always kind of jarring when we went from like Burnout 3 and Burnout Revenge and Burnout Takedown, which I think is Burnout 3, now that I think of it. Uh, it, it going from those to Paradise was kind of like a jarring thing. Like I didn't want to drive around and like find events. I wanted to just go to them, you know? Right. Uh, yeah, I don't like the downtime and the driving. They have little things that, you know, experience signs that you can hit and, mm -hmm. you know, like those speed trap kind of things, the the radar guns. Whoa! Ah! Um, little things you can find, but, yeah, this is just kind of meaningless downtime. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I worry about, you know, yes, they can make more tracks, but are they that much fun just using the existing roads mm. in the world you sure. know they really got to plan that out and they don't have the benefit of burnout games where you like jumping through billboards and stuff either right yeah so yeah I, I i i tend to gravitate more towards racers with defined tracks uh but you know games like midnight club man i love that oh, series. i love midnight club uh and i would say this one has that kind of vibe to it where they just go bonkers with with the terrain in this one and jumps and I mean, really just being a destructive force. No, you're not taking down houses and stuff like that, but they have no uh, care whatsoever for for Australia. <laughs> they want to show off how beautiful it is, but at the same time, they just want to have you just be like a bat out of hell flying through it. You know, now that I think of it, I think when things opened up, that's also when I fell off the Need for Speed series. Just I, I like having like defined tracks and you just go into the event immediately. Oh, or, sorry. Oh, that was guess, do coyotes do that? Yeah, sure they do. What are those called in Australia? They're called dingoes. It, was that a dingo? Seriously? It might have been. Cool. All right. Off the chain. Oh, boy. Yeah, that guy's cool. That guy is. Actually, I think I get to. That's me. <laughs> you get to pick your character at the that's beginning. Like a blonde there's lady. Like, yeah, there's like 10. Well, she's a redhead, but there's like 10 to 12. <laughs> um different uh characters you can pick you can select your difficulty if you want uh there's 150 bonus boards to smash we talked about that kind of things to find in the world that's me and oh here boy. we go yeah cool we get to show this don't screw it up Reiner. here we go this seems a little gratuitous i don't know if we need like the helicopter i think would be enough i don't know if we need the jeep attached to it <laughs> what point are they demonstrating uh, I should point out, if you have a 4K TV, they are doing HDR. Uh, I think this is the first Xbox One game that does that. Uh, so that just kind of comes with the game. If you have it set at 4K, you know, that's a, a patch, I believe, on that's out there. Nice. Um, that just downloads automatically. You've taken the 4K dive. Oh, yeah, it's the best. Is dive? It? You mean Ascent. <laughs> I am, 4K is the coolest. I'm still kind of. I think I'm waiting a year for the prices on those TVs to come down. So I want to. I want to go big with my my next TV, and 4K is not quite there if you're uh, for affordability. If you want a larger size. Woohoo! All right. So this uh, Jeep so far has been kind of a moot point in terms of blocking or knocking down trees or blocking your path or anything. I just turned wait. on some music. So you have radio stations, radio sponsors. I'm sponsored with Vagrant. Do you have any idea if you can do uh, like custom <laughs> music here? I did. Uh, it just clipped it. Can you do custom what? Custom music? I don't know. So I know they added background music into one of the previous Xbox updates. I don't know if I'm sure you can do there's it, any in integration there because this is a, a first-party game. You know. Hey, I saw a crocodile or alligator or whatever they have down there. There's a lot of dangerous wildlife in Australia. Yeah, I don't know why people live down there. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh yep. that jeep is just menacingly course. hovering over you yeah these races are kind of tough to figure out if you are um, left, left, right. if you're actually like in uh, wow uh, in first or second but I've been killing it there's also the rewind function um, I'll show this real quick where you can uh, start you a mess up you can yeah I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I think the first game I played with that was one of the, the Forza games. Maybe it was one of the Gran Turismo games. But I remember just thinking, like, this is cheating. <laughs> like, 
Yeah. It's kind of like the equivalent of if you lose a game in like Madden, just turning off your system. Well, how do you feel about the guideline on the track here? That's something that's a little break. less cheaty, but like it's still kind Seriously? of like I think that's just as much. I, like, I mean, because you can, you still need to have some sort of skill to follow that. Whereas, like rewind, like if you go off the track, you're like, oh, never happened. You know, like here we go. Well, oh. Reiner. Yeah. Uh, can you hit him? I don't think so. It's like I guy that guy seems awfully a, nonchalant. I for think that is a, a scripted moment in this race. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy seemed really, really calm for the fact that you were just barreling towards him in midair. Well, I mean, if you agree to do this and just get throttled like this, holy crap, what is he doing? There's a guy in that thing. Eat crap! Yes! What was the point of putting the Jeep down? Like, just to finish so the race. point of reference? You gotta go under the gate. Ah, you... <laughs> All right, so I won because I'm great. That guy's a maniac. Who would do that? What else do you want to see, Brian? Well, are we getting close to expanding the festival? We'll see. We might not have got fans because we already got them here. Uh, I want to see. Oh, no, some... we do. No, we didn't get new fans. Uh, okay, we need a new race. Yeah, we need a new race so we can expand this festival. I want to see what that, oh, that mechanic is all about. You know, the Goonie ship is in that. Is it? That mountain. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. Oh, some weather. You like my car? I do like your car. The most unconventional Lamborghini I've ever seen in my is this life. Doing it for you. All right, let's see here. <laughs> what is yeah, this? That's a danger sign. Uh, what's this? Undiscovered route. There's a circuit race. Well, that means I've done those, hasn't it? I don't. You're the one playing it, not me. <laughs> oh, let's see what this is. It's right here. I'm just show off the rain. Does it have a day-night cycle? Uh, yeah, I think, well, you could go in caves and there's, um, uh, you turn on your headlights. I have not seen night yet out in the world, though. Okay. You think, like, you know, you think a festival, like, you think something that goes into the nighttime, you know? You think there would be. Watch out. All right, so what are we looking for? Uh, the new, uh, new event. So we can get some fans and expand well, this festival. I think festival. we're going for a danger sign right now. Anyway, that's first person, different views. I like the windshield wipers. So what's this? I think this is it. Whoa! 420. <laughs> oh, Brian. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, I'm just getting started here, but definitely enjoying it. Uh, oh, that tree does not. Except fall for that over. moment, but yeah, it's been it's been a cool little game so far. Do a little off roading. Yeah, let's see what that's all about. And very true to uh, trees are sturdy in Australia. Some of them you could take down actually. Let's see if we could get this one. There we go. Um, oh, there we go. See that? Yeah, this will be a race. This will get us fans. If I win, shots. If you win, it's a big if. Oh man, look at that! Just beautiful. So, are there people already creating custom designs like this N7? Or I think it's legacy holdover stuff from uh, previous Forza games. Okay. Uh, people correct me if I'm wrong, but the marketplace was filled with it. So, so you don't think that all the people who had the game earlier are just spending all their time creating? I mean, it'd be just critics at this <laughs> point, and maybe testers. It could be. I don't know if an official tester is going to be creating an N7 logo. But I don't know why they wouldn't carry that stuff over. There's yeah, great it makes stuff sense. There. And I love the progress percentage. Like I would think I would hate it because it's just kind of like a countdown. But I don't know. I kind of like seeing like, all right, I'm 50 percent through the way through this race. Uh, and again, this is Forza new gen legacy stuff, but the drive guitar stuff is going on. Uh, so these are my friends. Is AI. You know, that's how we had, uh, uh, you know, Arthur Deese from uh, Polygon on there. And, you know, these are just other people. <laughs> people tell me my drive guitar is very aggressive. People tell me that about mine as well. It's weird. Well, my, I am intentionally just trying to smash people. <laughs> that was close. That was. I don't think that house would have given to you. 
Oh, look how beautiful this is. Great spot for impromptu race <laughs> or golf. Let's just tear up this entire gorgeous terrain. Just this awesome open field where people make their living by growing crops. Uh, the vibration in the controller is very nice. Has the haptic stuff, right? So like on yeah, it like feels it, very when you nice. break it, you feel it in the left trigger, and when you oh no, so here we go. Oh, let's use that rewind function that cheats. Can oh, I don't know if that's enough. Further? Oh yeah, that's good. Cheater. Oh, perfect. Wade will make that look seamless. It's very when nice. you break, yeah. you, get, you feel it oh! seamless. Uh, change the radio station. Racing. <laughs> so also have this sponsor. There's like six you can choose from at the beginning. Can, did but you there's just more hit a you kangaroo? can get. Later. No. It says kangaroo, a thousand points. Oh, that's me. That's you. This you're, is the name of my character. You're the kangaroo? Yeah. Hey! Ah! Oh. This seems like it would greatly damage your car. No. I landed on water. Oh. Buoyancy. Buoyancy and physics. Look how beautiful this is. And 80%. Skywalker race through this. Uh, this does look like a pod racing oh. course. Remember when he did this in the movie? And Qui Gon's like, "Don't cheat." Yeah. So Bulba destroyed his his vehicle or his pod racer, and he just rewound. Here we go. Whew. Sand is slick. I think it would fact. be. That is a fact. Here we go. What do you think? I think it's a pretty good looking game. Look at that water on the, the camera lens. It is really fun. I really want to buy this game. <laughs> I haven't been into like a racing game in several years. And I think this one could probably sink its hooks into me. That's how you show off. You don't even look at the finish line. I like to do that also, actually. <laughs> Enough wins, boss. Give somebody else a chance. Oh, oh man. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Flatterer. Oh, that's a cool car with the that bird. It's got a little parrot or mccall or something all right let's see if you got enough fans wow that's beautiful look at the dirt did you get enough uh let's see it just Hold said on, you're down a new level watch this oh, Whoa! oh wait. Man! Ah! <laughs> got really excited there yes yes we did it all right i want to see this festival expansion Okay. So what does this mean? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> expand the size of your festival. And but you said you can events. do a new festival or you could expand it. Yeah, so here we go. Oh, wow. Outback Steakhouse. Surface paradise. Skyscrapers, city streets, and tight urban racing. Mm. Apparently the waves aren't bad either. Or the outback. Red sand, blue sky, perfect so this is... terrain. And snakes that'll kill you if you even slow down for a second. Well, well there you go. You just got to wreck your opponents. What do you think? Which one should we do? Well, I mean, we just went through kind of like a, a dusty area, beach. So you want to So see let's do a surfer's paradise. All right. So this is a new festival. This is not expanding your... Paradise. Correct. I can okay. set everything up and get the party started. Feel free to stick around here and arrive fashionably late. Oh, look, it's like Telltale, where it tells you how many other players chose that same choice. So we open up this oh, part yeah. of this, the world. I think I could probably drive up there on my own, but let's go check it out. Waiting for you in the auto show. Uh, so but, eventually you unlock the entire continent of Australia, right? Sounds good, huh? So I want us to go here first. Oh, it's not open yet. They're getting it set up. So I'm assuming there's like a, a boss yeah, we'll battle just, now. Yeah, yeah, we'll just go up equivalent. here. It'll probably be a race over there. I'm um, guessing. Probably like one last race before you have to go on to that other one. Why am I following this track? I can just cut up through there. We well, like to respect the festival. Thanks, Anna. Anna, by the way, is here. Uh, oh, what do we got here? What? What is this? <laughs> The skill uh, shop offers an array of upgrades and perks. Okay. Which can be activated with skill points. Cool. This is the festival boss tab. These perks allow you to unlock upgrades and call in favors to improve your festival. What? This is the skills tab. A skill These song? Perks make it easier for you to bank huge skill chains. <laughs> this is the instant rewards tab. These perks offer you instant rewards of credits, XP, and wheel spins. 
hmm, where do I spend real money? That's what I want to just throw my money at this game. Do you? I don't, I don't want to just free stuff. Uh, <laughs> like so you mean like real, real world currency? Drone mode. Okay. Anything you discover with drone mode is unlocked. All right. That's oh, the only okay. That's, that's good. Oh. oh, okay. All right. Get your heart out, Final Fantasy. Sphere Grid. So you got uh, four more points. Let's do a skill song. Sure. <laughs> oh. oh. Risk taker. Oh, that's me. Drafting. Call yeah. Reiner the risk taker. And instant reward. <laughs> Just give me some money. All right. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. And away we go. We're almost there. So nice. here's my original festival. It's bigger than it was from the outset. It's like level two festival. So there's actually, you can see like a visual, like there's more people there or something. Yeah. Yep. More That's tents. Cool. Yeah. They build it up. And now I get to pick a new car. Well, obviously the giant truck. Well, no, we picked, we didn't go off road. So I'm going to pick that. Look at that. Yeah. But you could run ah. over the other cars with that. Like those cars look like ramp. Why would you get like the regular looking Nissan? Hmm. That's a nice car when you see it driving down the street, but in a racing game. What do I want? As a thank you for your performance in previous games. Oh we man! Arrange to have some cars delivered to your garage. I am a big fan of the NSX, though. Choose one you'd like to take for a spin now. I love it when they give you a choice like this. I think it was Gran Turismo Three, where you'd win the big hundred-mile events. Wow, that would look cool with the N7 logo, wouldn't it? It that would. looks like something Shepard would drive. Uh, you know, I'm gonna take it because it's Go just for it. sweet. Give me it. Mm. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> that thing could kill someone. Well, I guess I all, think all any car could. could. Yeah, Brian. Oh. Um, oh, photo mode, all that stuff. You can um, you kind of highlight different things and just kind of see how it works. Like, oh, that's how lights work. Kind of neat. Uh, but let's get back out. And uh, yeah, the lights turned on. That's kind of neat. <laughs> and drive. Yeah, we know thing. that. The there we go. This will be the last thing we do. We're just going to drive up into the city and call it a day. Yards, right. So now we're going up to the new festival. Yep, that's exactly what the lady just said. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, and. The license plate, my name being um, off center, you can center it. I, I was a dummy and didn't put a space at the beginning. I put two spaces at the end. Ugh. I know, it just looks terrible. I can't unsee it now. I just look at it the whole time. Can you time. fix that? Mm hmm. Okay. Like this. <laughs> yeah, you could go fix it. Just Watch it. out! I'm in the Batmobile. Nothing can stop me. That is true. Oh, man. What if there's so a Batmobile cool. decal? Put it on that thing. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure there's all that stuff. I want that as DLC. But the N7 one just came up when I was selecting a new car. Like, it was right there in the shop. I was like, I will take that. <laughs> Let's see. Keep your eyes peeled on the map for any bonus stuff along the way. Whoa. Can you just, like, hit a ramp and go off into the ocean? Uh, I'm sure I can, and I'm sure it'll reset me. Oh, a little sailboat out there. Whoa. Can you race a sailboat? Uh, probably not. Oh, okay. But the game very much about atmosphere, just soaking in the sights as it is really fun racing so far. And uh, yeah, soaking I'm enjoying in the, sights the hell out of it. As you go past it 123 miles per oh, hour. Oh, yeah, just soak it up. Like another sailboat. All right. In 400 yards, Do you ever get used to driving on the left side of the road? No. It's very strange. I feel like that would be tough. Whoa! I got this. Nailed it. No! That's a side airbag being deployed. There it is. <gasps> it's like my commute into work. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? A little Mad Max terrain. <laughs> Is that actually in Australia? I'm guessing so. They can't put it in the game if it's not actually in Australia. Right. right? If that was a contract they signed. Can't take any with liberties with any of this. 
all to scale, all perfect. There are sites that they're like, this is the pure of blah, blah, blah. So there is real stuff, I think. So Anne is also a tour guide. Yes. In 400 yards, turn right. Well, uh. I remember when they first started putting GPS in open world games and like they would let you know way too late that you had to turn. I think like one of the driver games was the first one I noticed had it. And it was like, you'd be driving through the intersection and be like, <laughs> turn right and be like, oh. My GPS does that in real life sometimes. But I also like the blinker system where the, the driver turns the blinker for where they have to turn. <laughs> I think that, uh, that's, that's unrealistic. If, if you know a lot of the drivers around here, nobody uh, signals. Oh, Daredevil's in the game. And here's the city. What do you think? It's a pretty good-looking city. Can you drive through? Ah! Like, oof. Maybe keep your eyes on the road. And so you can actually drive through the city blocks and everything. That's pretty cool. Yeah, some of it's blocked off, obviously, but... That looks pretty nice. What city is this supposed to be? Is it like a real city, or... Uh, what was that? Pitch. Why did it take you around that way? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Set my festival here. And here we go. We're going to build it and call Let's it a day. It. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, this game. I'm I'm excited to try it. Whoa, that was too close. For <laughs> it really was. She wasn't even looking. And voila. People can walk straight from the beach to the stage to the starting barrier. It's a masterpiece. I was kind of hoping they do like a time lapse building up of it instead of just like the flash it's ready, but that was pretty cool. Let's see. Take a look. Oh. That looks oh, oh, we get, get another car. car. Friends. Most of them are cars, but you know, speaking of, you're here to collect another one. Wait, you can choose different manufacturers too. Yeah, they're all just these makes here. Let's see. Oh. The hammy. Remember all those commercials they put out like Oh. What, eight years ago? I don't know. I'm not familiar with this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take it. It looks cool. All right. We're really going to call it a day now. All right. Well, that's Forza Horizon 3. Just a Oh, here quick... we go. <laughs> okay. Well, hold on. Well, the, just these are some of the, the things that are in the marketplace. <laughs> that's where I got the N7 one. That one. Hey. So yeah. those are the only ones you have to choose from right now? Right now, yeah. Okay, and you can go in and customize it in the future. All right, so that's a nice little sample of Forza Horizon oh, 3, yeah. what the game's all about. Um, and My reveal will be coming later. But, uh, yeah, lots to dive into here. It's going to take me a bit. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, sure. And I'm looking forward to the review and trying it out for myself. See you next time on Test Chamber.